All right. Uh, it's like three o'clock in the afternoon, three thirty. I hurt. My back is tight. My ankles hurt. I am sore, bad. I don't think I got to bed till like six a.m. this morning. And I finally got up at a little before noon. I think that's what it was. Man, I just last. I don't know. Maybe I slept in a little bit yesterday, but geez. I would just kept going and going last night. I vacuumed the whole house. I cleaned the whole house. I gave the dog a bath. I washed all of her dog stuff. Her dog bed, her dog bed out in the garage, uh, the pillows, and she's, I just did a ton of stuff last night. Just kept going. Hey, okay, less to do today. But we gotta pop over to the rental house and go to town, stop by the gym. So I need to take some ibuprofen, get rocking. Got done eating, did a couple little finishing stuff up around the house today so far. Nothing video worthy. But now it's time to really get rocking. Just get on sore first. Ugh. All right, here at IHOP with the with the douche Andrew. What do you got to say to the nation? Hello. Hello. <laughs> I like food and I like lifting weights. <laughs> it's not Cadoba, but it'll do. All right, we're gonna do this real quick since he coaxed me into coming. Twisted my arm, almost broke it. Okay, finishing up at the rental house here. Stop at Orsulins. I got copper sulfate. If you don't know what that is, it's really good for getting rid of roots because I think I might have uh, or any clog really for my rental house at my sink. Everything else is good. Just the kitchen sink, which you know how much gunk and stuff gets dumped in there. It's always just good routine maintenance. So you also put some in the toilet. Be gone. I put some there, so that will take care of whoosh, all the way for most of the sewer. And then you kind of want to do it in how it tracks. So that's the lowest part of the system. So you do that one. Then I already put some in the toilet upstairs. That will be the second one. That will be done. And then, you already saw me put it in the sink. So now I'm actually gonna run a little bit of water in the sink to allow it to kind of trickle down. Let it foam up, really gets into everything. And let it sit. Okay, now it's down there sitting, eating away at stuff, clearing everything out. And then I'll come back tomorrow. I'll really run some water through everything see what it looks like if not then i'll go grab some more but just so you guys know this is what it looks like copper sulfate you can get it i get it at orsulins what is this one little five pounds 17 bucks but if you have clogged up like drains i don't know if it's used on septic systems just so be careful of that but you know drains clogged up if you get root problems put that in there it eats deteriorates them keeps them away you should probably do it twice a year this car that is 
spring and fall, so I'd do it. And keeps everything good. It's a nice, cheaper, easy way of maintenance than having somebody out come out and snake your drain. But enough of that. Now it's time to I think I'm gonna go fill the diesel up with diesel and put in the uh, fuel stabilizer, and then it'll be set for the winter. I don't know, or I'll drive it. Some, I don't know, I think I'm gonna go do that. Well, we'll see, figure out. More things to do. Man, 9.30. Just got, I went back to the rental house, to that dog kennel that I had. I just didn't want it anymore, but I knew I was coming over here today. So like I said, set everything out on that curb. It's usually gone. So I came back over after I got gas to set it up, put it out there, and then I was just getting done. I was gonna go inside and wash my hands. And Mary, my next door neighbor, is over there. She ended up, hey John, can you give me a hand? And like I said, I've known Mary seven, eight years now. And she goes, uh, will you help me with her TV? Couldn't get something done with her TV, so. Went in there to go help her, and luckily I had tools already in my truck that could help. So she got that, and we talked for an hour. Love talking to her. It's great having neighbors, you know, it's really bonding and good times. So I enjoy it. What's up, brother? Uh, are you getting rid of that? <clears throat> it's yours now if you want it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it was for my dog. Yeah, all she did it, uh, she just chewed on it a little bit and everything. It works great, but. I haven't used it in three, four years. I figure somebody else can use it. Thank you so much. Of I'll course, man. Somebody will put it in good hands. That'll be good. Have a good night. And have a good Thanksgiving. See? Didn't even take an hour and it's going to be gone. At least the guy came up home sitting in my truck to ask if I can use it. He can have it. And he said he'll put it to somebody who could use. Like I said, I'm sitting around for two, three years now, four years. Yeah. Time to get rid of it. Somebody else can have it and use it. Give back. All right, I'm gonna get home. Yeah.